Clarkenwell Design Week and I've come along today to look out for kitchens and bathrooms and I'm looking for anything that is new and delicious really and when I say delicious I mean something that makes me want to get involved go up and get tactile with it so yeah that's my aim but it was in the church the lower area of the church projects or something um, and that's where I find the new kitchen suppliers and they usually have a lot of furniture in there so Western Reed which were um, a sustainable kitchen company all made and produced in the UK um, again, beautiful, beautiful finishes. Um, but the thing I liked about them is they specialise in what I call living room kitchens, the kitchens that can be part of your living room. They don't look overly obvious. All the appliances are hidden, um, but they've got a lot of character to them and they're working with a lot of new materials as well. Um, and they're huge on the sustainability front. Grassware is on my sort of radar. Matt White, that's what I'm looking for. Um, also, any tiles. I'm a massive fan of tiles, different finishes. Um, colour is still a very big thing in my world in terms of tiles and finishes. So yeah, I've been uh, for the last three or four years um, and every time I've come I've focused on something different um, but now I've honed in on these particular areas because otherwise it's just massively overwhelming. You come along and you come back with a bag full of cards and brochures and you're like oh why have I got garden furniture I don't do garden furniture but it just inspired you when you were there but actually it's quite handy because garden furniture does translate into bathrooms because it's usually waterproof so when people have these huge um, bathroom suites that form part of their rooms or wet room designs you can look at garden armchairs as a, as a piece so it does work I think in design there's no such thing as you know rules and you have to do it one way or another I think it's an organic process and it you know you work to what works for you so the thing I love about Clark and is everybody comes out for it so it's more about meeting up with colleagues and friends you haven't seen for a while and then they sort of give you tips oh have you seen this or have you seen that and then you sort of go along and you look at things that you probably would have walked straight past so that's for me is you know is part of the draw really for Clark and and or we always have good weather apart from last year actually. Finding a lot of people are going for bathrooms as opposed to kitchens. Um, bathrooms, because it's a quick update, with the whole Brexit movement, a lot of people are like keeping the cash in their pocket. Kitchen's a big investment, you're looking at 30 grand minimum to do anything of any sort of, with any sort of wow factor personally. Um, whereas a bathroom, three or four grand, you can make something pretty special and then that will last sort of going forward. And that seems to be taking people over that hurdle of wanting to either move or update, um, they can, they can do that.